Okay, seeing as believing TV watchers, uh, we are going to show you a assembly process today for the Avigo 3500 Ram fire truck. It's my son's fifth birthday today. Bo just turned five, and he was, well, he's been wanting for a while. We were fortunate enough to catch it uh, at Toys R Us before they went out of business, and this was the last one they had. So we took advantage of the discounts. We bought it. Uh, I've taken the liberty of going and taking all the other components out of the box. This is the chassis. And what I did to start out with so we can have a chance to enjoy it once it's put together is I went ahead and plugged in the battery. And you can see right here, these two connectors, all you have to do is just connect those in. The charger port, which is actually pretty convenient, is on the right hand passenger side door jam. Uh, right there, you plug it in. When those two are connected, you plug it in the wall. You start charging your 12 volt battery. Battery, so it's a uh, it's a great system. We have the police car similar to this one. We've been enjoying it for a couple of years now. So it was time to upgrade. What I've done is I've laid out all the components. Uh, you can see on the floor, I put the uh, the front grill, dashboard, the seats, as well as the two doors and the four tires. Uh, got a little help from our buddy here, Mr. Yeti, with the skeleton on his head. We have a visitor. Mighty King Kong and of course Yeti to help out. Uh, one good thing about this vehicle is it's dually rear wheels or dually, but it has two motors, one for the left and one for the right rear. That's gonna give this vehicle a lot of traction going across the that's actually pretty cool, but a lot of traction going across the yard and getting off the concrete, which will be really good, exciting for us. The thing that Bo liked about it most uh, was the gun. The water gun it has a chassis mountain top, uh, directional forward and aft, and you've got a large water cannon right here that's allowing me to go ahead and get some good coverage and if you see the base of this this is the actual cylinder for the water that holds at least i don't know a liter of water on there so it's actually pretty nice uh steering wheel components and then of course we have the two mirrors and that's it that's the components they have to put this together uh one thing i do want to show you Bo will show you how that gun kind of works there point at that boat whoa get a side view of it show me that time a side view side yeah look at that that's a big gun. So you can take it off and, and carry it, or you can mount it. So when Bo pulls up to a truck, fire in the neighborhood, he can jump off there, grab his water can, and go put it out, or water my my flowers, one of the two. But I want to show you this thing. I'm in the basement today because in Kansas it's uh, about 9,000 degrees today in my garage. So it's a little too hot to uh, be out there. So to get this big, big, huge box down by myself, what I did was I used my works. I don't know if anybody's ever seen them had them advertised, but if you ever want a, a multi-purpose uh, wheelbarrow slash dolly slash, slash but 15 other uses, uh, this is it. This is the one for you. It does great. It'll hold a fridge very easily. And uh, it's convenient. One person, literally one hand, has stoppers on the bottom. I'm not plugging, please, guys. I'll tell you what, the works is the works is, is a bomb. So if you're a outdoor working kind of person and you like to carry stuff around and you don't want to go out and borrow things from your neighbors you have everything and this has eight actual uses in one so a great system to keep in mind so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start putting this together i'm gonna go ahead and videotape a little as i go piece by piece and start back up instead of wearing a monitor on my chest and that kind of stuff because uh i don't want to have any kind of issues or accidents but it should go together pretty smooth and uh, we'll go from there be back with you in a few minutes Okay, we're going to start assembling. The first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> after we broke the parts out, we showed you in the first part of the video, is, is install the front bumper. What I've done is I've elevated the vehicle up a little bit, uh, one for ease, and two to keep it nice and straight. When I put it in, you only have one shot usually with these. There's three screws to attach the front. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's one in the very center across this, uh, four, this four square pipe. And then one anchor on the, bump, on the uh, bumper in the front, right left and right side. Uh, the tabs in the front were very easy to line up and I will snap those in place once I get it on the ground like that and that closes the gap up really nice so uh, very surprised with three bolts three small screws actually it was able to fare in that nice so uh, that's step one of the assembly so we have one one of our pieces down and uh, 21 more to go and we'll go from there and be back in a little bit Okay, so step two, we went a little bit different. Uh, you put on the front two tires first, and then on the back, like I mentioned before, this is a lucky car, this Dooley's, has Dooley wheels on the very rear, and it has dual motors. We 
passenger side and your driver's side. They're indicated with uh, two colors, yellow and white. Uh, yellow being driver's side, white being the uh, passenger side. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect these before I lock down the actual hub itself because I don't wanna forget and then go back later and have to crawl underneath it or lift it up and cause damage to it, which is what typically happens, right? It does for me. So, once you these lined up, one second. We're all set. So, motors are in place. Now all I do is up the tire, lock ring hubs on, and you're pretty well done with the back end of it. We can set it down and uh, and start putting the rest of the guts together. Should be together in probably another 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and then of course some other 20 minutes of detail work, but it's going really well. Uh, I did take the liberty of lifting this thing up as far as uh, balancing on a couch. It's my downstairs, so it's not that important of a couch, but uh, just wanna make sure it's easier that way. And uh, it allows you to kind of work at a height. I'm a six foot two guy, so this is a little bit easier working station for me and uh, makes it better. So. I just want to show you where I step two, which is the lower section, which is the tires and axles, and we're getting that finished now, and then we're going to the uh, the doors and dashboards and those things. So we'll be back in a few minutes. So I wanted to come back again uh, a little bit further along than I wanted to be for this, but it just has gone together so quick, so easy, uh, well thought out design, probably the most enjoyable put together I've done uh, on anything for a kid. And normally these things are just atrocious. There's bags of bolts, they're laying everywhere. You lose pieces, you can't find that it's not there. It was unique in this very, uh, this package, every hardware attach point, the hardware was attached to it instead of being in a bag, which was amazing. So I spent about 30 minutes pulling things back out of the box, you'll see, thinking I lost the whole, uh, the whole bag of uh, bolts and nuts, but it actually was, uh, uh, it, was a, it was a breeze. It was nice. So I'm down to uh, the two seats in the, uh, that's it really, the two seats in the upper water cannon part. I'm, I'm done. Uh, it's almost charged now. I think it's probably going to have another 35, 40 minutes. Uh, it's nighttime, so tomorrow will be fully charged. And my son can go out and drive it around. So uh, it's like I said, it's been great. So let me get the, uh, before I start throwing babies in the air and kissing. <laughs> Everybody, I'll make sure I've got it done right. But uh, I like the dually wheels in the back. It's awesome. I can't wait to see how it looks when he drives it and see the functionality of it. Uh, it looks really good. And what I'm concerned about is uh, how it drives on the grass because uh, the ones we have now, even the other 12 volts, they just don't drive on the grass or dirt. And uh, I want him to go out there from the concrete, from the sidewalk to the uh, dirt and grass and drive the same. So we'll see if this has that feature for it. Uh, this was a $500, $459 price point uh, new at Toys R Us. Uh, I waited until it went on sale. I got it for $357 uh, because of the going out of business sale, which is a uh, whole other subject. But a great deal on it. No return, so I hope it works pretty well. But uh, for that kind of price, yeah, I, I took the risk. So I'll get that, the rest of the work done now, then I'll get back and let you see the finished product. Okay, Bo. Here we go. So we got it totally put together. And look at this. Five-year-old, 42 and a half pounds. Uh, he fits in really nice. He's got long, long legs too. But put your feet on the pedals to show everybody how. Look at that. Perfect. This is an awesome vehicle. I want you to get a good view of how this thing looks. It's just awesome. Great detail, great workmanship. I think it's gonna last a long time. Uh, like I said, it's a pleasure to put together. And uh, hopefully, Bo can get a lot of use out of it. Yes, sir. Oh, do want come? It will take me longer to clean the mess up than it did to put this together. Look at those cones. There you go, you get your two cones, right? That comes with two cones. That's when he pulls over to uh, put a fire, he puts his cones out and uh, he's got safety first, right? Pull the door a little bit harder, Bo. Close it when you pull a little harder. Yeah, kind of push up on a little bit and pull up like this. There you go, he had locked in real perfect. What do you think? You like it? There you go, Hollywood. Uh, famous last, last last words, right? Saying, hey, look here, and then what happens? <laughs> Crash. What? Yeah, so I, let's, I'll stop showing this thing off. But, you know, it's a, it's a, a really, really nice product, so we'll see how it does. So once again, this was the, uh, the Avigo 12-volt, 3,500 RAM, and uh, it's 
been a joy to put together, and I can't say enough about it. And we'll see tomorrow how I, uh, how it works. We'll do a follow-up video when he's driving around the uh, dirt in the street tomorrow and uh, show you how, how it goes. So we'll see you tomorrow.